Hi everyone, it's Tammy from Chock Full of Quarters and I'm going to have a two-part uh, video for you um, about The Clean Show. Um, I'm going to show you everything about The Clean Show. Uh, the people we talked to, what we saw, what we loved about it, what we didn't like about it. So it's going to be broken up into two videos because I've already made the video, it's just really long. So I'm going to do two parts. and. Stay tuned at the end of each video because Greg has a message for you. He's not in this video today. Uh, he's got some other things he needs to do. So get ready because here's part one. Hi everyone, it's Tammy from Chock Full of Quarters and it's just me today. Uh, Greg has some other things that he needs to take care of, but we want I want to go over um, the clean show. We went to the clean show and boy, did we get some stuff and we got some stuff to talk about and uh, what an amazing time we had. It was amazing. You know, Greg and I have been trying to get to the clean show for years and it always just seemed there was some family obligation or something was going on that we just couldn't get down here. But this year we made a point to go and um, it was absolutely amazing. I met so many people. I got to talk to distributors of just a lot of different products that pertain to the laundromat. And, you're, you know, also it had stuff for um, the large, I mean, the, the, the hospital size laundries and stuff like that. But we're going to go over, um, we also got swag. Uh, Dexter uh, gave us some really good swag with other stuff. And so did a lot of the other companies. And when we're talking about that and go over some of the stuff. So one of the first things, um, excuse my glasses, so one of the first things that happened was there was a class I wanted to go to and it was a class about empowering women um, in a male dominated um, industry, which the laundry industry is very male dominated. I've spoken about problems I've had in the past with men not really wanting to deal with me because I'm a woman. Well, things are changing, but I took this class, uh, Alliance put it on and Alliance did a great job. This was the speaker they got. Uh, her name was uh, Fern Germer, I believe that's how you pronounce it. And wow, it was the first thing that I did when we got to the clean show. I, I, I wish I had, we had gone on Friday, but we, or Saturday. We got there on Sunday and we were there for Sunday, Monday, and came and left Tuesday. Um, first thing I did, I took this, I took this lecture. And I went from being, yeah, I'm a laundromat owner to I am a laundromat owner. I was pumped. I was just, I, oh, I was on cloud nine. I was absolutely. Um, so I recommend if you have, if you can check her out, um, Pearl just, it, it was just, it was very, very empowering. And not to the point where, you know, I'm going to go, you know, watch on Washington as a feminist, but it was enough to make me realize that I am important as a laundromat owner and being a woman and that I don't need to take crap from anybody. So the next time I have to call down to Milner and they tell me to, you know, honey, put your husband on the phone, uh, that's not gonna happen. And I'm not gonna stay silent. So, uh, fun, it was a wonderful class. If you ever get to see this video, um, and ladies, uh, get this book. Uh, she also has a podcast, um, and so she's out there. So who did we talk to? So we got to talk to a lot of people. So before I do that, uh, I, I need to kind of kind of maybe back up a little bit. So I got to meet a lot of people. I got to meet two people uh, at the Clean Show who are uh, subscribers to our channel. Uh, Kevin, uh, it was wonderful to meet you. And Chris, both of them. So I know we're YouTubers. And, Never did I ever say to myself, I'm an influencer. Um, Greg and I were just like, we're not influencers. We're just two people who have a laundromat and like to talk about it. <sighs> Kevin, <laughs> I'm going to have to tell you, I'm going to tell you the story, how it was I kind of felt. So so Kevin, um, he, we, we bumped into him and he, I mean, one of the first things that came out of his mouth was, um, I quit my I quit my corporate job and I went and bought two laundromats and I was thinking to myself the first thought in my head was why the heck did you do that 
I didn't realize that we were talking about stuff that people really wanted to hear or needed to hear. I just, I just thought we were just out talking to people about what it's like to own a laundromat. But he did. He went out and bought two, two laundromats because he watched us, and I was like, at first I got a little scared, and then I was, and then I, it took me a while to realize that, you know. It's nice to hear. That's really what it is. It was nice to hear it. It really was. It was nice to hear how well you're doing and your plans for the future and how you set up your wash and fold. Like, I wanted to listen to you tell me because I want to do a wash and fold or we want to do something. And so it was super nice to hear from Kevin. You know, I wish I could have, and I've told Kevin, I've already told Jack, you know, I wish we could have talked longer. And Chris, and then, you know, uh, Chris, if you get a chance, could you message me, uh, send me an email at chuckfullquarters.com. I want to talk to you about your idea about a Zoom call. Uh, he, he mentioned that we could do a Zoom call with a bunch of people and you know they could ask the questions that they really want to ask. But, they, but the two of them let me know about our videos and what they would like to see in our videos. And, and they were absolutely right. We weren't doing a lot of the right videos. We were doing videos that we felt were important. But they pointed something out to me of there were certain things that people want to know when they buy a laundromat and you know because we've already done them that we should talk about them and i was very confused that i was like people want to hear that and they were like absolutely so greg and i are going to start a new series um and it's it's really about the step-by-step -step process and it's i mean i'm talking when do you get an llc when do you name your place who do you have to tell that you're going to name it this um how do you call a distributor and what, what what is it you want to talk to them about and how to talk to a distributor and you know kind of have all that stuff ready to go also the do's and don'ts of a retool boy you know we've been trying to make this video for a while because um there's a Greg and i got some pretty big hard lessons from our retool and um so we're going to do a whole video on, on the do's and don'ts we have some other videos coming up um we are so I got, I got really motivated, you know, after our retool, I was motivated as it was, but the clean show motivated me, motivated me to something that, so the, the kind of theme of the clean show this year was, um, the Quinn Laundry Association would like to see, um, would like to see laundromats that we want to elevate the industry. No more zombie mats, you know, no more just kind of know half it. Um, they want to see you know owners who are involved and care about their communities and you know um, and you know have everything in working order have it clean so that was their kind of message this year like let's elevate the industry let's go to some place that we've never been let's let's get away from you know let's incorporate a lot of tech let's let's and this is what's happening this is where it's all going we're going tech and it doesn't mean that you have to go tech. It just means it might be a good idea. So, went to the clean show. I got to meet some amazing people. Amazing people. So, uh, before we get started, uh, you can see that you, the laundromat is behind me, but it's actually really a green screen. Um, and we're doing, we're, we're having to do most of our videos now on a green screen, and here's why. We don't. So we're having to do uh, most of our videos now on a green screen because we're now 24 hours and there is somebody in our laundromat at all times. I know, I, I, I don't want to talk about the collection videos today. I really don't. I, I know you've made your suggestions about that. Um, I just don't know if it's going to happen. I, I, and if we have one and we can pop one up for you at some time, you know, we'll do it. Um, but we're going to, we're, we're doing this right now. Um, because we just can't get to the laundromat and, you know, do videos without people interrupting. And also, I'll be honest with you, I'm not really sure I want my community. I don't think anybody really in, in our community knows that we are. I'm not sure they really know that we are uh, making YouTube videos. So, let's get started with the people I have met. So I want to, I just want to give some people I've met, I'm going to, I'm going to shout them out. Um... I believe her name is Barbara, and her and her husband um, have a laundromat up in uh, Brockport, 
Rockport, PA, which I believe is up near um, Pittsburgh. So they're actually re they're actually building out their second laundromat. Um, I'm, she sat next to me at the luncheon um, that I went to, the Women's of Empowerment luncheon. Um, super nice, super nice woman. Thank you, Barbara, for being so kind to me. Um, also, uh, I met a woman. Now, there has been a lot of discussion um, about... Um, about um, franchises. Lots of information, lots of debates. Um, I, I'm gonna be honest with you, I don't come in on either side because I'm not, it's not simply something that I look for. Um, it, it's not something I'm interested in because I can actually bring my own laundromats if I want to. Um, but sometimes people feel a little overwhelmed in their research. And so I met this lovely lady and I think it was her husband or it was her salesperson um, and who gave a wonderful answer to me about why you should do a franchise. And so the, the franchise is called Spin Doctor Laundromat. She is up in New Jersey. Um, they have a website, uh, spindoctorfranchise.com. Um, I really enjoyed talking with her. Um, and she has this she has, you know, pamphlet. I'm sure all this information is on the website. So if you're interested in looking up Spin Doctor Laundromat, um, she was she was super nice. I mean, and they answered, you know, the questions I had. And it wasn't that I was um, trying to discourage them or anything. I wanted to see what their answers were because I had talked to somebody about a franchise and their response was because I said so. And that wasn't a response. And he actually, um, the gentleman that was with her, uh, gave some really nice, clear, and precise answers that, that made sense to me. So, if you're thinking about a franchise, check out Spin Doctor. Spin, uh, well, she has a laundromat. Spin Doctor Laundromat, SpinDoctorFranchise.com. She was at the table with me at that luncheon. Um, I also got to meet a wonderful woman from Boston who, being from Massachusetts myself, it was I was quite surprised to hear that she's from Boston because she had no accent. And I asked her why she didn't. She couldn't. She couldn't. Uh, um, she couldn't tell me. But uh, in the, in talking with her, um, I just felt really comfortable talking to her. Now she is uh, at a stage in her life where she wants. She's been wanting to do, have a laundromat for twenty years, and now she's at a, at a stage in her life where she's. It's me time, she said, and. Uh, Tahisha, uh, it was wonderful, and one of the great things that has come out of this is that um, I offered to be a mentor for her um, because she's just starting her process. She was at the clean show to start her process, and I didn't get to have anybody to mentor us or me when we when we started, and I wished I had. And it was what she really needs is just somebody to point her in the direction of, okay, I have to do this research. Where's a good starting point? You know what's good information and what's bad information, you know. So one of the things that I am uh, looking for, and I'm going to put the call out to my laundromat owners in New England. Um, so she is in, she is south of Boston. She is 45 minutes from Rhode Island. Um, so she's kind of like, you know, in that, you know, past Southie, you know, just you know, south of Boston area. Um, I would like for her to be able to go to get in contact with a laundromat owner who could literally show her what a good laundromat should look like. A hot, you know, your dryer room, you know, what your maintenance room looks like, what your, you know, how you have it set up. Show her the inside of a bulkhead. You know, um, let her know, you know, hey honey, you're gonna, you're gonna have to stick your hand in this drain, you know. And that's important. That it's, it's important to say, this is the reality. We're not looking, again, we have never tried to tell anybody that this is passive. It is far from it. But I'm looking to um, help her. So if anybody uh, in the Massachusetts area, uh, contact us at chopfullofwaters.com and we can go from there and maybe try to get her, you know, an hour or two it's behind the scenes of a lodge man. Um, because she was interested in seeing that. She, she was like, I would like to see that. She needs to understand, like, you know, what a trough is, what, you know, PVC drains look like, what, you know, your water valves look like, and um, electrical. Nobody's ever, you know, a lot of people, I didn't know what a three-phase panel was. I just thought a panel was a panel was a panel. And I got a lesson. 
So that's I'm, I'm calling out to large land owners in preferably Massachusetts or maybe at the Rhode Island border. Um, so let's see. What, okay, so let's get into. Um, boy, there was just so much there, so much there. Um, so we actually, so we we talked to a lot of people. We talked to this was an insurance company that we talked to. I have not called them back yet. Um, Brooks Waterburn Corp. Uh, we talked to them briefly, and they thought they might be able to help us out. So we're going to call them up and get a quote from them to see if we can maybe get our insurance down a little bit. Uh, very knowledgeable. They've been. <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> They have been in the laundromat insurance business for quite a while, I believe. <coughs> so that was one of the, the insurance companies that we talked to. Now we've talked about this before, um, and we're, I'm just going through the pile. I'm just going to go through the pile and we'll talk about each one. Mountain Electronics. We've talked about them before. Uh, you have boards, you have um, anything that's electronic. So we're just going to go through uh, Mountain Electronics. So we talked about them before. Whenever we needed a, an inverter or a board or an igniter refurbished, we would send, because they're down in North Carolina. Great customer service. Uh, you have anything like that. Uh, ABC, card readers, Continental, Delta. Dexter Hips, Ipso, Maytag, Speed Queen, Unimac, Whirlpool, Wasmac. Mountain Electronics, great company. Um, so, this is something we're actually going to call. So, we all know about Eastern Funding, it's one of the largest um, funding companies uh, for laundromats. Uh, this was another company that uh, clean laundry funding. Um, they're newer to the laundromat industry, but they are looking to become a competitor of Eastern Funding, I believe. Um, we do need to call them because um, we would like to, you know, uh, maybe refer, um, refinance our loan with Dexter. Might be They might do the funding for our next laundromat. Uh, but again, clean funding, on clean laundry funding. And they are on the internet at cleanlaundryfunding.com. Uh, we stopped in and talked to um, Artie Clean, which uh, uh, is an ozone company. I know some people fall on the side of it's a gimmick, it's hogwash, it's this, it's that. Um, I'll be honest with you, I don't know. Um, we, we got to see their setup and how it works. He, he did a great job explaining. So it's more information that, you know, I might need to look into. But we stopped in. Really nice guy. Talked to him. Um, let's see. Oh, this company, uh, F-Matic. Let me show you. Uh, we got swag from them. Um, and what it is so what so we were walking down this aisle and you could smell something just like you know when you walk into a hotel at in las vegas and they've got they're piping in wonderful smells i mean the mirage is, is it no is it the mirage i don't know one of those places smells wonderful so they had this sample of stuff and i guess they're just little like little beads. They're just little beads. Mm, and they smell wonderful. And it wasn't a, you know, but they, they come in those, you know, you've seen the, the glade things that you hang on the wall. There's a very similar to that, but they, I believe it has a fan that'll burst out. It run, The fan will run over the crystals and it'll, it'll, it'll kind of like waft your your area with, 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 with scent. And sometimes... No matter what you do, no matter how many times you clean your drains, clean your drums, clean your rubber seals, your laundromat's going to have a stank. And um, so this is clean laundry. This this fragrance is clean clean laundry. We are going to be getting their system to put into our laundromat to make it smell that much better. 
Um, so it's F Matic um, Luxury Fragrances. And they are out of uh, Lehigh, Utah. So, and they are fmatic.com. Um, so the scents that they have in here are Tropical Breeze, Natural Clean, Soothing White Tea, Orange Grove, Green Apple, uh, Cucumber Melon, Mountain Breeze, Cherry Jubilee, Mango Mystique, and Lavender. So they have a nice selection. Um, he gave us this nice little test kit to, you know, see which one we like. Definitely liked the clean, you know, the natural clean, which smells like clean laundry. So, um, we are going to be ordering their system, which it looks kind of like, let me just show you. Um, I think this is it. Maybe it's not the crystals. Maybe it's so I hope all of this has been some valuable information. If anything, you think you want to go to the clean show, um, do it. It, it. It's just, it's an amazing time. So we hope to see you there. I'm still not sure about the date. I, I don't know if it's two years or three years, but it's going to be in Orlando. So you're going to have to watch for it. Hi, I'm Greg from Chalk Full Quarters. You've seen our magnet. Now you can get a t-shirt that says, I don't want a job. I want to own a laundromat. Follow the link in the description below. It'll take you to Etsy. You can buy the t-shirt and the magnet there, and you can see some of our other products that we sell. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button.